people have to survive and you know as Bob Marley said you cannot sit by the river and then die of thirst Yeah, yeah, okay, Juma. Oh, this with him. My problem is that we okay, Juma. You see, I be your way. Oba, Oba, friend, you na see, you na abre. Unu ya ubi ya nuwa ba beto. Into uti ya na hongi chana na uti. Di ya hongi unse galamsi eno. Go do asasinu. Ene cha asasi ya di ya hongi adi. Ya ni si kiri ba hongi fidi. Ba ya di ya hongi adi. Ebe tu tu form. Ni ya pe ya nuwa diani. Je tu tu ya nzu tu tu ya njia kakra ebe tu tu diani ebe. These uh, mining, the, uh, what we call the galamse, they are sort of uninvited guests. As soon as any area comes up for mining, they also rush there. It's just like rush for gold that happened in the uh, in America. There are those who do it purely for livelihood reasons. These are those who live in the communities. They are indigenous. They grew up in the communities. If you check their background, you realize that they are children of parents who lost their farmlands to large scale surface mining companies. The mining company took over their lands, very little or no compensation was paid, and therefore they had to either drop out of school or they couldn't continue after the basic level. So they don't have the skill, they don't have the, the certificate, the academic certificate to even gain employment in the mine. So what do they do? They are forced to go into small scale mining or galamsey as a form of survival. They need to survive. That is one class of people. There is also the other class of people. They are in for commercial reasons. The last statistics I read, the 2004 figures from the Minerals Commission, indicates that uh, small scale miners contributed up to 34% of total gold production. So that tells you the potential in the sector. We can look at the national level, uh, they are contributing this much to our total gold exports and, the, and therefore foreign exchange earnings to the country. At the local level, they also play a key role. They stimulate local economic development they, because they earn income. The interesting thing is that every penny, every peso they earn stays in the local economy. It doesn't go up. There's no capital flight associated with small scale mining as we have with large scale mining. And then locally, they also contribute to economic de uh, infrastructure development. There are cases where small scale miners have supported the construction of schools, clinics, repair of roads, and so on. So that is a, a key contribution to infrastructural development. <laughs> Because so these are some of the you know, benefits we get from small scale miners that unfortunately have not been documented. But they are a key part of our economy. I think um, we, our attitude to small scale mining has also led to the kind of negative perceptions that we have. So for instance, um, there are problems associated with small scale mining, environmental problems. And it is also because they are not regulated so they are more or less like an orphan sector of our economy.